My name is JD Vernon. I'm a junior client success manager here at Pop Menu. And my name is Stephanie Summers. I'm also a junior client success manager here at Pop Menu. And today in our webinar, we're going to talk about supercharging your online orders by unleashing the power of mass messaging, SMS, and social posts. So what's on the web webinar menu today? To start off, I will cover the mass marketing alongside the power of smart messaging to drive online orders. JD will then discuss how to get the most out of SMS marketing with strategies to extract optimal value. JD will also introduce our new AI enhanced social posting where we'll learn how to use this innovation to transform your social media presence for online orders. And then that will bring us to our demo portion where you'll be able to witness our tools in action as we conduct that live demonstration to provide you the firsthand experience of their capabilities. And then we'll finish the webinar informing you of the latest developments and upcoming features at Pop Menu. To start off, we're going to utilize marketing efforts to re-engage customers with Pop Menu's email marketing tool. The mass messaging tool allows you to identify which emails drive the most online revenue and replicate success. Pop Menu offers several templates to use, allowing you to input offers and clickable buttons within your message to point to your customer on ordering online. You can kind of see in this example here that there's an easy button for your, your customers to click within that email message right there. After sending the message, you're able to identify what works for your customers by being able to analyze metrics available in your marketing dashboard. Being able to consistently monitor how, does, how this message is performing and pinpoint the click rate success. You can kind of see this information right here, um, which will be found in your uh, marketing dashboard. So you can see how many is delivered, the average um, open rate, the average click rate, and then just that general revenue bringing in. They're attaching an offer to a mass message will also help capture direct revenue and allow you to see those numbers you brought in to your restaurant through your marketing efforts. Um, there's also a new segmentation tool you can use to filter out certain followers you want to send a message to or offer, such as the most engaged followers, new followers, and followers who've ordered online three or more times. We're going to show you how to do this in the demo following. So next, we're going to take a look at uh, set and forget it, how you can boost your online orders using smart messages. So Stephanie, go ahead. Yeah, so I like to refer these messages as set it and forget it because you basically set them up and then they uh, send to your followers without you really having to do a lot of work. Um, the most work putting into it is the initial setup. According to Smart Insights, the restaurant industry's average open rate is 19.77%. And the average click-through rate is 1.37%. Pop menu smart messages consistently perform higher than the in industry average. To promote your online ordering through smart messages, you can link your online ordering link to any of the smart message or even attach one of those offers. Welcome follower, happy birthday, and we miss you smart messages would be great opportunities to send a follower an online offer. We'll go through how to attach an online offer in your smart message in the demo as well. Just like the mass message, you can identify the smart message stats and how much revenue those offers are bringing into you. And you can see the examples of some smart messages and also those same numbers you're going to find in that dashboard as seen there. JD is now going to discuss the SMS messaging with you. Thanks, Stephanie. So just wanted to jump in here and talk a little bit about how we can leverage offers for your online ordering using a text message. So Pop Menu's text message tools are the perfect way to engage with your customers. Did you know that two out of three diners want to receive special promotion and news from restaurants every week? Your customers want to keep up to date with what's new at your restaurant. And the text message marketing tool is the perfect way and it makes it very easy. You can now seamlessly attach an offer directly to your text message blast to promote your online ordering. And then we can also see in here, you know, the total revenue that's being brought in from online orders. So there's some uh, additional metrics that you can uh, see from this as well. So we'll take a look at this in just a second here and get a little bit more of a demo. But before we do, I want to take a look at the social media marketing plus AI tool. What that looks like, we're thrilled. This is a fairly new feature here with Pop Menu, and we're thrilled to have recently launched it. Uh, this tool allows you to easily promote what matters most, your amazing food, the events you have coming up, everything like that. We're going to jump into a quick demo here shortly just to take a look at this tool and how you can take your social media to the next level utilizing it. So without further ado, we'll get a demo pulled up. So my screen share should pop up here and then Stephanie is going to hop on in and we're going to take a look at some email and smart message first. So to start off, we're going to kind of show you how to uh, promote your online ordering with that mass message that we discussed earlier. You're going to find that in under marketing and then email messages here. 
To create a new message, you're going to click this red button in that top corner. And then the fun little templates pop menu has, you have your basic template. There's some major holidays, other holidays, um, like Super Bowl, March Madness. If you want to promote anything on your website or just your online ordering, if you just need some templates or some ideas to get started. I've already built out a draft um, from earlier, so I'm just going to refer to that, but I use the basic uh, template for that one. From here, you can see that I was able to customize the message subject. So I'm going to do a 20% offer today. So I did enjoy 20% off. And then a little message teaser is use code 20% off. So then the person knows kind of what code they're getting into before jumping in the email. From here, I used this blue button and clicked online offer. And then this brought in my whole online offer I built out. As you can see, if you send this to your customers, it's gonna create that offer code and an easy button for them to click that will take them right to your website for online ordering. Um, it gives the offer details um, as well as that easy button. Um, we did discuss the new segmentation we have, which I think is a great opportunity to really utilize the followers that you've gained. Um, you can come into here to add segment and you can see the different types of segments you can send this um, mass message out to. So you can really uh, get those new followers or if we want to um, send this to the most engaged since they're usually the people who are most engaged in your uh, website or maybe the highest spenders get those to spend more or someone who's ordered online three or more times um, lately. So I'm going to just choose the most engaged and um, click that down here. It's already clicked. And then that's who's going to, it's going to send out to. You can either send the message now or schedule it out to the date or time that you want this message to be sent. Moving on to smart messages. This is also going to be found under email messages up here under smart messages. Smart messages has a ton of options for you to activate and utilize. Um, those are those set it and forget it messages. So really the uh, most work you put into is coming to this um, page and setting those up. To set up any message, all you need to do um, is come in. Let's let's focus on welcome follower. We just can click this pencil in that top right box. Under this time stamp, you can see when this message is going to be triggered. So this one's sent after the user followed your restaurant. And then down here, you can really customize the content that's going to be um, sent to that customer. If you want it more of your brand, your wording, this is where you fill that out. There's variables, images, and dishes you can also put in. I think it's great to really add an offer in this because it's, again, you're setting this up and then marketing to those customers, allowing them to go directly to your online ordering or give them an offer for just joining to be um, a customer of yours. So if you click this down here, you can see that you can choose any type of offer. So if we chose that one, that's going to be the one that's sent out to your customers anytime they join to be a follower of yours. You can always preview what that message is going to look like too. So it looks like since it's under JD's name, it's hi JD. You can see the messages you wrote out and then it automatically gives that code to your customer, which is really promoting that engagement. Um, uh, you can do that with any other smart messages. You can also go in and turn it on or off and then really just see that uh, numbers coming up or how many have opened and how many have sent. Um, and then if you want to refer back to those numbers we discussed in the slides, under marketing, there's that overview page. And this is really where you're going to find um, the most um, information and data from your marketing efforts. Um, this is our example website for Pot Menu, but obviously your website will bring in more numbers. You can see your total followers, the total marketing revenue brought in um, from your efforts and how many messages you delivered. Um, you can see which uh, mass messages have performed the best. And then down here are those two fun little data sources where you can really see um, those efforts and numbers coming in. Um, this now brings us to JD and SMS. Yep, so I'm gonna hop in. We'll go over a little bit of SMS and social posts. Before I jump into those, I always like to bring up uh, if you have any questions over any of these, or you'd like to further work and strategize with a member of our team, uh, your client success manager is going to be your best resource. So definitely recommend reaching out to them if you have any questions, would like to strategize more over utilizing these tools. You can also email us at client success at popmenu.com, and we can get you in touch with your client success manager. So without further ado, we're going to jump into the text message tool here. Uh, so 
under the marketing tab in the text message section, uh, we can see the past text messages that we've sent out uh, in here. And if we wanted to create a new text message, we would click this button up at the top right here that says a new text message. Similar to the email blast, um, you can choose to reach out to specific audience members. Uh, so if you have multiple locations, you can pick like, hey, maybe this one we want to go specifically to our New York City location. Uh, if they have no preferred location, maybe we select both of those. So we want to send this one out to New York City as well as no preferred location. Uh, you can do that uh, in here. And then we are able to send out a, a message, a text message on 160 character limit. So I'm going to pull up a draft that I had created a little bit earlier today so that we can take a look. So indulge in our New York City weekend. Lunch specials at Pop Rocks. Savory flavor awaits. Book your table now. So this is short, sweet, and to the point. What I typically recommend my restaurants that I work with is in these text messages, you want to contain, you know, keep it short, keep it to the point, uh, but you want to include information that's going to either drive revenue, bring people in, or let them know about upcoming events, things that your customers want to engage with. Uh, so if you have a new menu item that's coming out, like, hey, you know, uh, upcoming fall menu changes, you know, learn, come in to learn more, or view our online menu to learn more, things like that, or, or presenting an offer to them. So Presenting an offer, I'm going to show how to do that. This is a fairly new thing that we've launched recently with Pop Menu. So if we click this present here down at the bottom, we can see our offers that are available. I'm going to use the get 20% off that we were looking at a little bit earlier. And you'll see it'll pop up here as offer URL. Uh, and that's just kind of how it pops over in our system. But if we click the preview, we can kind of get an idea of what it'll look like from the customer perspective. So indulge in our New York City weekend lunch specials at Pop Rocks. Savory flavors away, book your table now, and then it'll have a link on there that will take them right in to redeem that offer and order online. So it's an amazing way to drive revenue, bring value to your clients. Um, and yeah, the other quick other thing that I want to take a look at is you can also use this to promote specific menu items. So again, if you have new menu items that are coming out, maybe say we're just launching the pancakes tech, um, we can do that as well, throw in a dish URL, and then similarly as well, it'll have a link that will take them directly in so that they can go view that menu item. So next, I'm going to jump into the social post section. Uh, we're very excited about the social post section. We've done a lot of updates recently in this section uh, to really help you engage with your followers on social media. So the first area that I want to bring to your attention uh, is this suggested for you. Uh, so what we have in here is some common things that you can promote on your social media pages based on your data that's available within pop menu. So if you've added a menu item recently, it'll pull over this uh, a post that you can send out an example post, uh, your most popular menu item. So items that are either being ordered a lot or being engaged with a lot on your restaurant uh, website. Upcoming events. So this is a great way to send out an easy reminder uh, for any upcoming events, as well as reviews. So you can take a look and say like, hey, here's a recent review that's come through on your site. Let's you know, use that positive review on social media to show how awesome you are. So just a couple examples on here. If I create a post on this one, it'll pull over, need some fun plans. Check out our special of the week, pumpkin spice latte, calling all pumpkin spice lovers, August 21st for an event. Or if we do the review in here, have you tried chocolate salted car caramel tarts? It's getting rave reviews. Perfect balance of sweet and salty. Can't wait to order these again. So it pulls over that review right there, as well as a link to that menu item and the picture that's attached to that menu item, which is awesome. The other big part that I want to demo for you today is up in this new post section, if we're going to write a new post, is this AI marketing tool that's available with your social posting. So this is a really cool tool uh, that really helps you write some engaging posts uh, to reach out to your followers. So just to, to look at here, let's look at the Nutella cookie menu item. You have a couple of descriptors that you can choose from, uh, best-selling, customer favorite, family-friendly, new, and staff favorite. Today, let's do best-selling. And for the post tone, you have energetic, friendly, and edgy. I'm going to do energetic for this one, and then just click the generate content button. Then about two to five seconds here, it's going to write out this amazing post. So check out the newest best-selling combo at Pop Rocks. Nutella cookies served with a cold glass of milk. It's the perfect combination of sweet and creamy that will tantalize your taste buds. Try it today and treat yourself to a delicious snack. And then it throws in some hashtags on there as, excuse me, as well, which is awesome, as well as that menu item URL. And then you can easily send it out to your different social media pages. 
So as well, you can also have the option to add in a photo. If a photo is attached to that menu item, it's gonna automatically pull in that photo. As another example here, uh, I'm going to do another new post and look at what we could do for an event. So here's an upcoming event that I created this special weekend lunch. We're gonna say this weekend because I had it set as coming up this weekend. We'll do friendly. And it'll generate us post here. Hey, Pop Rocks fans, we're so excited to announce our special weekend lunch this Saturday and Sunday. Come join us for a delicious meal and get a preview of our new and upcoming fall menu items. It's sure to be a tasty treat that you won't want to miss. See you there. And then again, the hashtags on it as well. So this is a really awesome. And then again, it throws a link into that specific event as well. Awesome way to easily get content out to your followers. I know at in the restaurant world, sometimes writing content can feel like the hardest thing in the world. And I get it. It is, it can be difficult, but this is designed to really help make sure that you're getting content out that's engaging, that's going to reach your customers and engage with them. So that is all that I had in terms of our demo for today. And I also know we discussed a lot about offers today. If you guys have any questions on how to build those or make those, please reach out to your client success manager or the client success at popmenu.com and we can definitely help you out with those. So before we wrap up today, uh, I, I really want to mention something uh, that could be a game changer for your business, which is going to be Pop Menu's Boost program. Pop Menu's Boost is all about supercharging your marketing strategies with a dedicated marketing consultant. It keeps your menus looking irresistible with annual photo shoots, and it helps you drive online revenue like never before through custom marketing campaigns. If you're ready to take your success to the next level, Boost is definitely the way to go. So that's going to bring us into the, uh, the end of our presentation for today. We do have some additional time here at the end uh, for some questions. So feel free to either throw your question in the chat if you have any. Um, you can also raise your hand. I can take you off mute if you'd like to uh, chat directly with us or talk directly with us. We can do that as well. Um, but yeah, that, that wraps us up. So please feel free to throw some questions in. And thank you all so much for joining in today. Yeah, thank you. Um, Alex asks if there is an extra cost for AI. So yes, there is, an, or not, no, not for AI, the AI uh, social posts is what you're talking about. That is already included in your subscription. All you have to do is navigate to social posts and then new posts or use those suggested posts and the AI should already be there for your use. Yep, so the social media AI tool is included. Um, and again, if you have questions on it or how to utilize it, uh, definitely feel free to reach out to your client success manager or give us an email at client success at popmenu.com. We can get you in touch uh, to help further strategize and walk with the tool, help you with the tool. Mm -hmm. And then Alex also asked, currently the only thing being able to schedule is posts, no stories or reels, correct? Um, that answer is correct. We can only schedule posts for now. We don't really have access to like stories or reels. Um, that would be an amazing feature, but just currently we just can do posts for now. Yep, but we always take feedback from that. Uh, so it's definitely something that we will bring to our product team. And if it's something that we uh, end up adding in the future, we will definitely let you know. So that should wrap us up. Um, again, I want to thank you all so much for joining in today. Uh, it's been awesome to have you all. Thank you for your amazing questions. But again, just want to thank you so much. Again, my name is JD. I'm a client success manager here at Pop Menu. Yeah, and I'm Stephanie. Thank you again so much for joining. It was fun to be with you guys, and we hope you have a great rest of your Thursday.